Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's Norway up against Portugal. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And this confrontation is underway. Here's how Norway will begin the game. Well, it's a flat 4-5-1, which would suggest they're going to try and play on the counter-attack. However, that will only work if they don't drop too deep and can't support the main striker. Creative look about this. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. So, back underway. Having conceded, let's find out if Portugal can flick a switch and come up with a goal of their own. Rafael Leao. Here's Ronaldo. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Riasson. Leal. Just the challenge that was required. We're really closing him down here. Martin Odegaard, Ostigord, it's with Odegaard, now look at this, they might be able to cash in here, chance to play it in, it's got to be, great defending here, marvellous anticipation, Cancelo. It's a weighted pass. Chance for the leveller. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Julian Rioson. It's with Erdogan. Frederick Aursnes. Martin Erdogan. Determined defending. Cristiano Ronaldo. The ball with Pepe. Ruben Neves. Since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Virgo Solberg Melling, Strandberg, Frederick Aursnes. It's with Melling. Well, they've given him too much space. And space to cross it. Looks as though there might be a threat, but not so in the end. Good defending. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Not really typical of Bernardo Silva, is it? He's struggling to make an impact here. He just hasn't been able to affect the game so far. He hasn't had too much of the ball, but even when he has, he's not looked threatening.
ball is moving again and work to do for Portugal in this second half and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end Riosson. And with the advantage, no reason why you shouldn't play keep ball. Alexander Surlot. Well, this is what you call passing with confidence. But then the one that goes astray. So a half an hour remaining. Pepe, Bruno Fernandes has it, Dias, Silva, Diogo Dallo, well trailing but this looks promising, and a snuffing out of the cross there. Strandberg, Alexander Surlot. Martin Odegaard, Leo Ostigard. Now let's see what they can do here. Well, that's good defending, well organised at the back. Ronaldo. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Bernardo Silva. Really good, strong tackle, and it'll be a throw in. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. So almost at full time and the home side on course to eke out a narrow win. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've been the better team. They've just had that little bit more quality, certainly in attack, and of course they've been well organised at the back. They just need to see this through now. Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Look what's happening. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Looking for a teammate. Well, that would certainly have put the game to bed, but there's still a bit of time left here. Well, it should boost their confidence. They can't afford to drop their guard at the other end. It did look on for them, but not to be. Ronaldo. On to Fernandes. Cancelo. Leal. This could square the game. Oh, an incredible save to preserve their lead. Well, that's a great stop and probably a match-winning one. Real drama late on here. And over comes the corner, and he clears the danger. And the referee makes it official. Well, this hasn't gone Portugal's way. Not at all what they had in mind. Stuart, sum it up for us. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance. And I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.